Math 5 Quarter 1 Week 5 Lesson 2 Milk Base Let's learn about Solves routine and non-routine problems involving addition or subtraction of fractions. Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frell TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, we will discuss about solving routine and non-routine problems involving addition or subtraction of fractions. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Solve routine and non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. To solve routine and non-routine problems involving additions and subtractions of fraction, understand the problem, plan strategies or tools in solving the problem like illustration to use the LCD and then solve by writing the mathematical statement. Next, rename the fraction of its dissimilar fraction. And then, find the LCD then rename the fractions. Now, let's do learning task 1. Find the sum or difference. Express each answer in lowest term. Number 1, 4 8 minus 2 8. These fractions are similar fraction. Subtract the numerators. 4 minus 2 equals 2. Then copy the denominator. 8. And then simplify. To simplify, get the GCF of 2 and 8. The GCF of 2 and 8 is 2. Then divide. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Therefore, the lowest term is 1 fourth. Next, 10 over 24 minus 5 over 12. This is the similar fraction. First, get the LCD of 24 and 12. So the LCD of 24 and 12 is 24. Then divide the denominator and multiply to numerator. 24 divided by 24 equals 1 times 10 equals 10. 24 divided by 12 equals 2 times 5 equals 10. Then subtract. 10 over 24 minus 10 over 24 equals 0. Next, 8 over 28 plus 12 over 28. This is similar fraction. Add 8 plus 12 equals 20. Then copy the denominator 28. Then simplify. To change this into lowest term, find the GCF of 20 and 28. So the GCF is 4. Divide by 4. So 20 divided by 4 equals 5. And 28 divided by 4 equals 7. Therefore, the lowest term is 5 7. Next, 40 over 56 minus 10 over 28. This is the similar fraction. First, get the LCD of 56 and 28. The LCD is 56. And then, divide the denominator, then multiply to numerator. 56 divided by 56 equals 1. Times 40 equals 40. 56 divided by 28 equals 2 times 10 equals 20. Then subtract. 40 minus 20 equals 20 over 56. Next is simplify. To get the lowest term, find the GCF first of 20 and 56. So the GCF of 20 and 56 is 4 divided by 4. 20 divided by 4 equals 5 
and 56 divided by 4 equals 14. Therefore, the answer is 5 over 14. This is the lowest term. Next, 5 ninth minus 2 twelfths. This is the similar fraction. So get the LCD of 9 and 12. The LCD of 9 and 12 is 36. Then divide the denominators and multiply to numerators. 36 divided by 9 equals 4 times 5 equals 20. 36 divided by 12 equals 3 times 2 equals 6. Then subtract. 20 minus 6 equals 14 over 36. Then simplify. Get the lowest term. First, find the GCF of 14 and 36. So the GCF of 14 and 36 is 2. Divide by 2. 14 divided by 2 equals 7. And 36 divided by 2 equals 18. Therefore, the lowest term is 7 over 18. Next, 18 over 28 plus 10 over 28. This is similar fraction. Add the numerator. 18 plus 10 equals 28. Then copy the denominator. 28. 28 over 28 is equivalent to 1. Next, 16 over 18 minus 12 over 18. This is similar fraction. Subtract the numerator. 16 minus 12 equals 4. Then copy the denominator, 18. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 4 and 18. So the GCF is 2. Divide by 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Therefore, the lowest term is 2 over 9. Next, 15 over 27 plus 10 over 36. This is the similar fraction. So first, find the LCD of 27 and 36. The LCD is 108. Then divide the denominator and multiply to numerator. 108 divided by 27 equals 4 times 15 equals 60 108 divided by 36 equals 3 times 10 equals 30 then add 60 plus 30 equals 90 over 108 next get the lowest term simplify first find the gcf of 90 and 108 the GCF is 18. Divide by 18. 90 divided by 18 equals 5. And 108 divided by 18 equals 6. Therefore, the lowest term is 5 over 6. 5 sixth. Study the problem. Look for the solution. Marlon has 720 pesos. He spent two-thirds of it on a ball fan and 90 pesos on a drink. How much money did he have left? What is two-thirds of 720 pesos? This bar representing 720 pesos. And the shaded parts is the two-thirds of 720 pesos. If we divide 720 pesos by 3, the answer is 240. Each bar is 240. So, two-thirds of 720 pesos is 480 pesos for ball pen. Here is the solution. Add first 480 pesos for the ball pen and 90 pesos. 480 pesos plus 90 pesos for a drink equals 570 pesos. Next, Subtract 570 pesos from 720 pesos. 720 pesos minus 570 pesos equals 130 pesos. Therefore, the money that Marlon have left is 130 pesos. Learning Task 2 Read and solve each problem. 
Eden bought 2 and 1 fourth meters of cloth. She uses 3 fourth meter for her project. How many meters of cloth did she have left? Subtract 2 and 1 fourth minus 3 fourth. To subtract 2 and 1 fourth, change this mixed number to improper fraction. 4 times 2 equals 8 plus 1 equals 9. 9 over 4 minus 3 fourth. Then subtract. 9 minus 3 equals 6 over 4. 6 fourth. Next, simplify. Get the lowest term. To get the lowest term, change this improper fraction to mixed number. By dividing, 6 divided by 4 equals 1 and 2 fourth. Then simplify. Find the GCF of 2 and 4. So the GCF is 2 divided by 2. So the answer is 1 and 1 half. Therefore, Eden left 1 and 1 half meters of cloth. Next, Rina bought 5 and 1 fourth meters of cloth. She uses 3 and 3 fourth of meter for her project. How many meters of cloth did she have left? 5 and 1 fourth minus 3 and 3 fourth. We will change mixed number to improper fraction. 5 times 4 equals 20 plus 1 equals 21 over 4. 4 times 3 equals 12 plus 3 equals 15 over 4. Then subtract. 21 minus 15 equals 6 over 4. And then, change this improper fraction to mixed numbers. 6 divided by 4 equals 1 and 2 fourth. And then, simplify, get the lowest term, find the GCF of 2 and 4. So the GCF is 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Then 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So the lowest term is 1 and 1 half. Therefore, Rina left 1 and 1 half meters of cloth. Learning Task 3 Read and solve each problem. Simplify your answer if necessary. Number 1. Barbie has small plot in the garden. She planted 2 fifths of it to radishes and 1 fourth to carrots. What part the plot did she use? Add 2 fifths plus 1 fourth. First, get the LCD of 5 and 4. The LCD is 20. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Times 2 equals 8. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Times 1 equals 5. And then add. 8 plus 5 equals 13 over 20. Number 2. Mary uses 2 and 1 half liters of water for watering her ampalaya seedlings in the morning and 1 and 1 fourth liters in the afternoon. How many liters of water does she use daily? Add 2 and 1 half plus 1 and 1 fourth. Get the LCD of 2 and 4. The LCD is 4. Then copy the whole number and then divide. 4 divided by 2 equals 2 times 1 equals 2. 4 divided by 4 equals 1 times 1 equals 1. Add the whole number. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Then add the numerator. 2 plus 1 equals 3 over 4. So this is the final answer. Number 3. Mrs. Paris bought 1 half kilogram of chicken and 3 fourth kilogram of beef. How many kilograms of meat did she buy? Add 1 half plus 3 fourth. First, get the LCD of 2 and 4. The LCD is 4. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Times 1 equals 2. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Times 3 equals 3. Then add. 2 plus 3 equals 5 over 4. Then, change this improper fraction to mixed number. 5 divided by 4 equals 1 and 1 fourth. Remember, to solve routine and non-routine problems involving additions and subtractions of fractions, understand the problem. Plan strategies or tools in solving the problem like illustration to use the LCD and then solve by writing the mathematical statement. 
Rename the fraction of its dissimilar fraction. And find the LCD, then rename the fractions. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!